Whenever somebody shares the realities of paying for childcare in this country, it's almost always met with this kind of comment telling us to use family members for free childcare. But it's not free childcare, it's unpaid labor, right? And oftentimes it's not even accessible to us. Most of us don't have access to family members who can watch our kids because our parents are older and they aren't able to care for our kids or they're deceased and or they're still working well into their 60s and 70s. And so when we're having children, they're still actively in the workforce. I know I don't have access to family to watch my kids. And even if I did, that is unpaid labor. They are working for free. And that might be okay for some family and that might be something that they've all agreed to, but it is unpaid labor. And oftentimes these comments that typically come from men are exploiting the unpaid labor of women because it's not usually grandpa watching the kids, it's grandma. Right? And so let's call it what it is. We're act, asking other women to work for free to watch our children, your children, right? Men or dads too. And so this conversation always points in this direction when what it could be is that like other countries, we could have infrastructure and social safety nets that supported families, that supported children, that allowed people to work and provide for their families without going broke trying to pay for childcare and or exploiting somebody else's time. Because everybody's time is valuable. Grandma's time is valuable. She does not need to be working for free watching our kids. And even if that works for your family, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but we should not be expecting that of people, right? Caregiving is incredibly hard. It's hard work and we should be paying for that work. And we should not be asking people to work for free for us.